Ooh. We could wait for the right moment and hit Aurora instead. But I don't want to talk. I don't want to go in the barn and say anything. She'll know. So you know what? I'd be a bit more smart about this. I am invisible, after all. There she is. I see her. You don't know what a box is? I want to watch. Oh, it's all right. You're gonna ride with me on my horse right fucking now, okay? Okay. Okay. Ah. Uh. Ow. You're riding with me. Okay. Come on. A walla. <laughs> hey. Hey. Hmm. Hey. Who's that back there? His name's Bubba. Friend of yours. Uh, he's just a town crazy man. All right. You know who I am, Aurora. Hmm. Don't know which one, but I know who you are, I guess. Who am I? Dicenzo? Ding ding ding. Now, I promise you, I'm not gonna hurt you. I was That's just so. a precaution. It is. You have my word. What's your name? My name's Dominic. Dominic Souza. Right here should do fine. Have I met you before? No. Lady Serendipity has a weird way of working, don't it? Hmm. Come on. I want to talk. Mm. About what? You know what I want to talk about. Hmm. I know a bunch of people have been looking after you. I know some of my guys have hit yours. Have hit you personally as well. They have. And there's no way none of this is going to stop. Seems that way. So why do you ride with them? I don't turn my back on my friends. So your friends ask you to jump off a cliff. You gonna ask them how high? No. But if people are coming for him, I'm gonna stand beside him. I'm not just gonna watch him get gunned down in front of me. You know, 
I had no idea what was happening until I got taken and got my face shot off. Yeah. Left me this nice scar. Apologies. You know, I may not have been the one yeah. to do it, but you know why you got it. What do you want out of all this? You don't turn your back on friends, but, you know, your friends could easily get you killed. I know that. They'd also die for me. They've proven that before. You don't want this to stop. You don't want no peace. You think I'm the one that's going to be able to decide peace? I try to people, reason with my people, but... And not your people. See, wonderful thing about... People like us, you and me... We're just expendable soldiers. You may not view it that way. Because Jack... He gives you warmth. He gives you a place to belong. Food. You know it's not about Jack. Everybody seems to think Jack is the one that does all of this. But Jack did all this. He came into San Denis, a place of peace. Drunkenly, with some old fucking has-been. You know this. I know, I've heard all about it when I got shot. Who shot you? Mm, Sergio? Sounds like something he'd do. You know, he was the first person to tell me any of this had happened. Hmm. I wanted to talk, because I needed to tell you that there's something that comes after. See, because I wouldn't want to be doing this. None of this. Putting a knife to your neck. It's not something I do. seem to do it. Yeah. Just like how you die for your friends. Mm -hmm. I do the same. How do you want this to end? I want peace. That's what I want. I'm more the diplomatic type. But you see, the wonderful thing about me, I'm a ghost. Nobody knows who I am. You know who I am. So let me ask you, Aurora. What's to stop me from, you know, telling you, oh, <laughs> Sergio sends his regards. What's to stop me from doing that? Your word? If it matters anything to you. It does. How do you think peace could happen? I think peace could happen with people like us. Jack's a reasonable guy. And you know he is. It's still there. Don't you wish you can go back to the moment before all this? No more blood being shed? Look at me. And tell me that's what you want. Thing is, I haven't not seen bloodshed in a while. Just before this started, I was dealing with Summers. I don't even know what no bloodshed looks like anymore. You do. You do. And I know you do. Cause remember what I said? There's gotta be something after. Me. I may be just a soldier, following orders, but at the end of the day, I got a family. I got a mom I gotta take care of. What about you? I'm trying to relate to you here. I got nobody, I got my friends, that's about it. No mom, 
No dad. None that I give a shit about. So your friends are your family? I guess so. Maybe that's why they're so important to me. You know, I don't enjoy war, shooting people. But again, I'm not going to watch my friends get gunned down. You're right. You won't be. Move to the tree over there. Now. You believe an eye for an eye, Aurora? Believe that it was already taken. And I was taken. Blood for blood. Ah, oh, this ain't about blood. What do you mean? Tie your arms. Wrap yourself around this tree. And do it fast. I'm gonna count. 30 seconds. Don't see you fully wrapped up around that. Well. Hmm. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Good. It's not a bad knot. You look like you've done that before. Am I wrong, Aurora? No, you're not. I'm gonna ask you a couple questions. And then we'll be done here. Yeah? Sounds good. Who is Jack to you? Jack's a friend. Just a friend. Just a friend. Mills and Alice. What about them? Also my friends. Just friends. That's right. It's all I got in this world are friends. What about my people? What are they to you? Don't know most of them. But you'd kill them, wouldn't you? Prefer not to, but if it's my people or yours... You see... The thing is, one of your people actually was my friend. Who's that? Winchester. He was at the shootout the other night. Hmm. Tried to make sure nothing extra happened to him. And look what Ed brought us now, huh? At opposing ends. That's right. You see, Jack and Mills took something from my captain. See what I mean? <sighs> yeah. So I'm gonna ask you one thing real quick, sweetheart. Are they your friends? They are. Is that not what you want to hear? You want me to hear me back down, start begging? I do. It's not going to happen. I'm going to ask you again before I decide <laughs> to gouge your fucking eye out. Are they your friends? 
yes, and I'll have their back no matter what. Even if we have to kill all your people. It's not what I wanted. Roar, um... <sighs> no. Maybe this could be different. I'm not a guy who likes to do this sort of thing. But I believe an eye for an eye. Oliver Toscano sends his regards. <laughs> I told you I'm not gonna kill you. But you're sure gonna feel like your death. <laughs> I'm not gonna be the guy to punch your ticket in. Send you to the grim fucking reaper. Nothing like that. But I can be the guy that sets the damn appointment for you, Aurora. Huh? <coughs> Who's think this seems like a good idea? Who's that? Who's that? You saying something there? It's just wait. Oh, it's not over. sorry. <laughs> There'll be a time where we'll be over, Aurora. Yeah. Hopefully you won't be standing anymore. I will be standing. I'll be right over there. Standing over Jack's grave. Singing fucking Kumbaya. I give you a choice. And you still got one now, though. See, I know a pretty doctor who can look after you. I'm sure you know who I'm talking about. Yeah, I just saw her. You did? I did. Wow. I'm gonna go set up another appointment, huh? Not exactly cold and heartless. I can be though. I can twist this blade right out your eye. Won't change anything. But it will. Said you wanted peace, now you just escalated. Yeah, I did. Oftentimes, though, the world don't care about what we want. Even the big hoss, like Cesare, or Jack, or Santino. Nobody's gonna care. But I told you, I'm a man of my word. could use that to cut your arms free. <laughs> now let it be known. You still got a choice. You could leave. You can get out of here. It's what I would do if I were you, Aurora. And a feud between hot-headed guys like us. Jack, this is our aim. There's no stopping them. It's not People over. like you and me, we could dream, right? Yeah. Not anymore. You still got a choice. Leave town while you got the opportunity to, before you're too neck deep into it. Ciao, ciao. <laughs>